Suppose a simple random sample size n equal to 150 is obtained from a population whose size is n equals 25,000 and whose population proportion with a specified characteristic is point p equals 0.6. Complete parts a through c below. Okay, we're going to describe the sampling distribution of p hat. So we're hoping it's normal or else we really can't um, go any further. So it's either going to be approximately normal or not normal for a couple reasons, right? The sample size that we take has to be less than 5% of the whole population. So we can certainly see that 150 is less than 5% of 25,000. So that one is satisfied. And also this next one here, the n times p times 1 minus p has to be larger than 10. So 0 0.6 times 1 minus 0 0.6 times 150 needs to be bigger than 10. We run that out, it's 36. So we're good on that front. Okay, so the mean p hat is just um, p, so 0 0.6. So the mean of the sample distribution is 0 0.6. The standard deviation of the sample distribution, recall the formula that we have. So we take the square root of p times q over n, and that gives us the standard deviation. So I just started doing it. Um, it wants to run it to six places. So press mode, come down to float, and you can either put it on float or you can actually have the calculator around at six places. I think it comes out pretty even. I did it at four places, and I just want to make sure there's no rounding. Nope, so 0 0.04. Okay. Now, what is the probability of obtaining 96 or more individuals with this characteristic? So I need to find what proportion is 96 out of 150. So do 96 divided by 150, 0.64. And they actually gave that to me here. They don't always do that. So make sure that you could compute that if you needed to. So here is our image. And we see we're always draw and shade these out. So you have the mean of 0.6. And right below it, I always put the standard deviation. 0.04 and then put 0.64 where it needs to be, somewhere to the right of 0.6, and then shade the region we're trying to find. And now we can use the norm CDF on the calculator. So we're going to press second distribution, number two. So the left bound is at 0.64, or lower bound. The upper bound is 1E99, which is already there. The mean is 0.6. And the standard deviation is 0.04. And we get, and it says round to four places, so 0.1587. And recall we can do this on StatCrunch. A little bit easier in my opinion, but you should be able to work both of them. So we're going to go to Stat, Calculator, go down to Normal. The mean again was 0.6, standard deviation was 0.04, and we want this to be greater than 0.64. We get the same thing, 0.1587 if we round. So what's the probability of obtaining x equals 78 or fewer? So they've already had gone ahead and found the proportion, what 78 over 150 is, but you ought to be able to do that. They usually don't give you that. So again, sketch this out. I'm assuming you can do that on the calculator. Go back to your norm, CDF, number two. This time lower bound is negative 1, E99, because we're going to negative infinity. When you're going to the left, it's always lower bound is going to be negative 1 if you're going all the way out to infinity. Or you could just pick some really small number. That's at least four or five standard deviations away from the mean. That's sometimes hard to think about, so that's the way I do it. So 0.52, and everything else stays the same. And we get 0 0.0228. Okay, so I hope that helps.